protective measures authorization it is the act of giving permission to use confidential documents keep always all your devices and data protected with the password and only authorized user should be permitted to use it authentication user should be considered authentic when he or she gives his or her true information for using the data example users enter their correct password to access information keep your password as strong as possible by using mix with alphabets numbers and special characters never reveal your passwords to anybody if there is any threat on internet just inform to your parents or teacher never open unknown and untrustworthy websites never respond to emails of unknown persons and companies never reveal your personal information like address date of birth telephone number school name and address etc firewall firewall enables to prevent unauthorized internet users from accessing private networks connected to the internet restricted actions if you are not sharing the files with other computers then switch off the file sharing to confirm the switching off the file sharing click on network neighborhood and in properties immediately click on file and print sharing so that it may not get selected do not show your password to anybody if anybody asks your password on telephone or online then be careful do not download the files and software by unreliable means open the email attachment only if you have full confidence in the sender you should always use antivirus software safety measures in computing the impersonal nature of technology can give us a false sense of security after all no one can physically attack us through a computer screen we tend to have an it won't happen to me attitude we may even believe that our computer programs and the powers that be are automatically taking care of all that internet security stuff for us sometimes we just avoid it altogether because to be frank we just don't get it does this sound like you consider these questions have you ever googled yourself to see what information can be found on you have you set your computer's security program to make sure you are getting regular updates do you have an external backup source for your computer are you enticed by emails or advertisements with special discount offers when shopping online do you check a website's security status before entering your billing information have you customized your privacy settings for your social networking accounts like facebook myspace and skype do these questions make you nervous don't worry this tutorial is not meant to scold or scare you but instead to make you realize that there are precautions we should all be taking on a regular basis to maintain our personal safety and protect our computer while using the internet think of the internet as you would a shopping mall generally a mall is not considered a dangerous place we go there to shop run errands and meet people but we also take precautions while there we wouldn't leave our car unlocked in the parking lot or walk around with our wallet hanging out of our purse we wouldn't tell a sales clerk our social security number or give our address to a stranger we just met the same applies when we are on the internet we need not fear our every mouse click but we should take precautions to ensure our safety internet safety for children digital footprints 
On the internet, a digital footprint is the word used to describe the trail, traces or footprints that people leave online. This is information transmitted online, such as forum registration, emails and attachments, uploading videos or digital images, and any other form of transmission of information, all of which leaves traces of personal information about yourself available to others online.